Dear Silicon Carbide community, a very warm welcome to my presentation leading the transition from silicon to silicon carbide in automotive applications of our newly merged company called Semicron Danfoss. In the next few minutes, I will briefly explain what this merger of Semicron and Danfoss Silicon Power is about and why this merger is a great opportunity for our customers and partners. My name is Alexander Streibel and I have been working for six years at Danfoss Silicon Power and will continue my work in Semicron Danfoss as a senior application engineer in the automotive product management and application engineering. As most of you know already from the press releases, in August 22, Simicron and Danfoss Silicon Power joined forces and are now one business called Simicron Danfoss. And so am I talking to you for the first time at Bodo's White Band Gap event for Simicron Danfoss. You see here in the background some nicely baked cookies. So if you're just having a cup of coffee or tea, this could be a unique fit as well while listening. So please sit down and enjoy my presentation. Simicron Danfoss is a unique fit and the merger is a smart move to perform significant investments in the future in innovation, technology and capacity to enable our customers' future growth plans. We are writing a strong growth story in industrial and renewable applications and we also target a leading position in automotive traction power modules. In these core businesses, we will drive the technology shift from silicon to silicon carbide with leading and decisive technologies. Simicron Danfoss at a glance, looking at 2021, had now a combined sales turnover of 680 million euro with 3,500 employees worldwide. We produce in 10 factories located in 8 countries and operate from in total 28 sites and 5 continents. 606 patents and 520 R&D employees illustrate the strengths for the future combining more than 90 years of experience and technology leadership in power module packaging. Our global production sites are now consisting of the Flensburg Danfoss Silicon Power Headquarter Facility, our US factory in Utica and the upcoming Nanjing factory in China, while Simicron is adding seven more factories to our global Simicron Danfoss production footprint. As you all know, electrification is one of the main drivers in the green transition. Our Simicron Danfoss technologies are key components within industry, renewable energy and automotive traction. Of course, silicon carbide will play a significant role towards a more sustainable and energy efficient future. In many applications, we clearly see a strong growth. The market demand is still tremendous, so we must and will invest in capacity to continue our growth story as a partner to further decarbonize our environment. For the transition to silicon carbide, advanced powered electronics packaging is mandatory to meet the various types of applications that are going electric. Let me focus on our newly merged leading automotive traction power module technologies. It all starts with reliable bonding and joining of the semiconductors. We offer the Danfoss bond buffer technology as it uses copper wires or copper ribbons as illustrated in the upper right picture to boost power cycling capability, enabling high temperatures and meeting automotive emission profiles. Another option is Simicron's skin technology, which is a wire-free flex layer offering lower strain inductance and excellent current sharing of parallel chips. For efficient cooling, lowest RTH and pressure drop is achieved with shower power technology. In a parallel cooling arrangement, which is typical for shower power 3D as shown here, the temperature gradient between half bridges can be minimized and power density maximized. As it is known for Simicron's MPEG, flexible cooler arrangements and customized cooler design options are possible in either parallel or serial cooling arrangements. Especially for silicon carbide, the electrical design with small chips and the costly material, bonding and joining and cooling technologies can be decisive. Let me explain why and go a little bit deeper, starting with the Simicron Danfoss centering technologies. Silver centering has become state of the art, not only for silicon carbide. And why? Because it tackles the weak solder joint below the chip. But also the top side connection had to be improved first before superior power cycle capability could be achieved. 
Once more, I would like to share the Danfoss bond buffer solution being one option, a two-sided sintered semiconductor using a copper foil on top and a counterpart of the same material to avoid CTE mismatch, either a copper wire or even a copper ribbon that we apply in series mass production already. Semicron's approach is very different using a flex layer but is also based on sintering on both shift sides to provide a reliable interface. The biggest advantage is the low inductance by avoiding wires and overlapping current path and the layout flexibility as well as the ability to scale the output power, of course being compatible for silicon and silicon carbide. Being one company going forward, these two approaches, Danfoss bond buffer or also called Ditop system and double-sided sintering are or will be in production soon. Let me come back to the previous slide and highlight our cooling technologies. Being said, close cooler options are possible in combination with the MPEG. As for DCM, the high power density is achieved by combining the cooler structure with robust transfer molding technology. As shower power can be used for half bridges, copper and aluminum cooler, even for a closed cooler, let me pull up the principle again. Shower power technology is not connected to one package or application. There are various applications, but all of them using shower power have in common that cooling fluids are fed back to the system as soon as they are heated up. Ideally, this would mean millions of parallel channels. So imagine there would be no temperature gradient at all. Because you may not allow to increase the pressure drop significantly, today for automotive traction application, we produce a module with a lower number of cooling channels, a trade-off between manufacturing constraints and pressure drop. In the shown solution on the left, the base plate has a 3 meander shower power 3D structure. The water is now forced to make turns like in a river with increased flow velocities and thereby better heat exchange between hot blaze plate and cold fluid. For those who are interested, we presented at PCAM a detailed study where we compared this solution with traditional pin fin solutions under the same design constraints. Let me proceed with a few more aspects where our customers and partners will benefit from the newly merged Simicron Danfoss business. Key for the transition to silicon carbide is the ability to access different chip sources. So hereby we secure supply, the needed capacity for our customer programs and best performance. The direct press die is another decisive technology of Semicron to allow reliable wire-free packaging with low thermomechanical stress on the chips and low RTH. Which is not directly linked to silicon carbide, in this forum today, but worth mentioning, is that we are also working on solder-free packaging for series products, which are today based on laser or ultrasonic welding of our power and signal pins. Finally, our molding technology is used in the DCM platform, which is a highly reliable and robust material for power semiconductor packaging, especially for harsh environments. Today in our product platforms, we must consider multiple chip sources for silicon carbide during development. So I would like to show you a benchmark we performed on our upcoming DCM500 platform. This new upcoming DCM500 platform appears on the top right and is half the size of the DCM1000 with half of the power, but with a goal to be mounted on a common base plate without sealing. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to run through all the slides of our benchmark, but we looked into different vendors offering 750 volt devices and equipped the half bridges with equivalent chip content. And our characterization showed that in our package, all chip sources can be utilized, offering similar dynamic power losses as shown here. Thermal run testing is still pending. So, but the key benefits of multiple chip options are the cost efficient use of the same package and mechanical concept when choosing a new chip technology, the availability of technologies as soon as available, 
and thereby making sure to design with the leading silicon carbide MOSFET technology. So thank you for listening. Uh, this is my closing slide and I would like to wrap up what's being said. Focus on silicon carbide, Simicron Dunfoss offers decisive platforms based on proven technologies. Mainly two platforms, one being DCM with the key aspects of the transfer model package, the Dunfoss bond buffer and shower power 3D. And the second platform being the MPEG, it's frame based using double sided sintering technology for ultra low strain inductance, the Dyrus press die technology on flexible cooler solutions in different arrangements. Semicron Danfoss is chip independent and use multiple semiconductor sources across all divisions. The automotive platforms are designed for 750 volt and 1200 volt devices and the platforms are fully scalable up to 900 amps. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. So if you have any questions that come to your mind, please reach out to me now or even later. Thanks for listening and enjoy your time at Bodo's Wideband Gap event.